Welcome to Snell Plus. In this video we will show you how to simulate stepped soil nail walls with the tools of our slope stability and soil nailing software program. Inside the Snell Plus software program, we first select to open the model wizard in order to create the model of our first vertical cut. In the first tab of the model wizard, we can define the project dimensions, the slope surface angle, and the soil nails layout. We can define the vertical and horizontal spacing between the soil nails, the length, the soil nail installation angle, and the rebar section that will be used for the soil nails. In the second tab, we can define the short grid facing section and the head plates that we will use on the soil nails. So here we can define the thickness of the facing, the cover, the rebar size and the rebar spacing. And we can also select a plate section from our list. In the last tab we can define the analysis method. In this example we will use the automatic search method for the calculation of the most critical slope surface. Also, we can select the design methods for the facing and the head plates. By pressing OK, the software creates the first stage where it includes the first cut and all the installed soil nails. Before we go on and create the rest of the stepped walls, we will select to edit the soil properties where we can define a list of soils and define their soil properties according to the geotechnical report. And then we can select to edit the stratigraphy by pressing the button edit boring. And in this example, I will add another soil layer at top elevation minus 20 feet. And I will use this glacial till. And this will readjust our stratigraphy. Next, we have to expand the limits of our model area. And to do this, we have to press the button Move Model Dimension Limits. We will assign the right limit to be at 120 feet and the bottom limit to be at minus 130 feet. We press OK and the model expanded. We will right click here in stage zero and we will select to add a new construction stage. And in this stage one, we will press this button in order to perform an excavation. We select the tool and then on the model area, I press to perform an excavation and click on different points and when I click to the last point, I press the button enter. Now I can access and I can modify the position of all these points in order to create my exact stratigraphy. We will move this point to X coordinate 20 and elevation minus 30. The bottom point will be at X coordinate 28 and elevation minus 60. This point will be at X coordinate 100 and elevation minus 60. And this point in stage 1 will be at X coordinate 120 and elevation minus 60 as well. So we basically created the excavation here and now also in stage one, we we'll have to access the draw nails and facing options. And here we can select to draw a concrete facing. We can zoom into the model and I will click on these two points and I will press the concrete facing with the end being on these points as I wish. I press OK and the facing is created. I will access again the same drop down 
and here I will select to draw a solid nail group. I will zoom in and I will click on two random spots on my facing. Here we can define the horizontal and vertical spacing between the soil nails and the structural section. I press OK and the soil nails are created. While in stage 1, I will also access here the right search limit and I will move it below the wall. I will make it to start from 28x coordinate until 38. And this will move my right search limit over here. I want to move the left limit closer to the wall also, so I will place it from minus 50 until minus 10. I'll go to state 0 and I will do the same. I will move the limit closer to the wall from minus 50 to minus 10. And the right limit in state 0 I will place from uh, x0 to x coordinate 10. So I also expand it a bit. I will right click here and I will add the construction states. And here I wish also to check this local slope. So I will access the left slope limit and I will make it from 5 to 20 feet. I will put it at 10. So I will search this area for the most critical slope surface here. I will right click and I will add another stage. And in this stage, I will also select to perform an excavation. I click on some points. I press enter. And I will access the different points and I will define the exact position x coordinate 60 elevation minus 60 for this one x coordinate 68 and elevation minus 90 for this one over here x coordinate 100 and elevation minus 90 for this one over here elevation minus 90 and for the last point I will also select elevation minus 90 if the water table was below here we can access it anytime by pressing this button over the option water options I can define a general water elevation, let's say minus 100 feet, and I will select to apply this in all stages. So the water will drop down in all stages so far. In the last stage, I will select to draw a new facing over the last cut from point to point. If needed, I can readjust the points over here. So the new facing is added. I will select to draw a solid nail group and I will click on two spots on the facing so I will take my mouse over the facing until it highlights and then I click to add the soil nail group and I will define the soil nail spacing and structural section so the new soil nail group is generated in the last stage I will access the right limit and I will place it from 68 to 78. So the right search limit will be transferred down here. And if I wish to examine the full slope, I will add another stage. And in stage 4, I will access the left slope limit and I will put it at the left limit from minus 50 until minus 10 feet. So now I can review all my staging, all the limits that I am examining, the small slope here, this slope between these two cuts, and I will also check the full slope here. Let's say that we wish to use a temporary facing in the first 
stages and then in the last cut use a permanent facing. In order to do this, we double click on the facing and we can select here the option that it is a two step facing, temporary and permanent. And being in the last stage, I will select that this is the permanent facing on this stage. If I zoom in, I can see now that in the previous stages, I'm having a temporary facing. And in the last stage, the facing becomes thicker, being the permanent facing. I also need to go here in the analysis method and I have to select that I'm using a permanent structure and I will pass the change only in the last stage. So I select no, not to apply the change in all stages. Finally, let's say that we have a distributed load over here acting in all stages. So I will go to stage zero. I will select the draw loads tool and I will draw a surface strip surge. I click on two random spots on my surface and in the table that appears, I will define that the load is applied from uh, X coordinate minus 60 until 10 feet behind the first cut and that the magnitude is 0.6 KSF. Now that I drew the load in the first stage, the load is applied in all stages. We select to perform the calculation, so the software will examine all stages. And as soon as the analysis is finished, this analysis a checking summary table appears, in which we can see the most critical results among all stages, or we can see the most critical results in every construction stage. We close this table, and here we can see the different slope surfaces and the calculated slope stability safety factor in every stage. So we can verify that all the stages are okay. By accessing a soil nail, we can review the soil nail results for every stage. And by accessing a short grid facing, we can see the detailed results in every stage as well. On the model area, we can examine the reactions for every soil nail line. We can review the structural and geotechnical safety factors for all the nails and for the facing. We can review the soil stresses, the searchers, how the searches is transferred on every wall. And finally, we can review the results for the slices. We can access here a slice and we can review the partial results for every selected slice. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our websites in order to receive additional information on our software program, review examples and training videos. If you wish to receive information about our pricing, our special offers, or if you wish to arrange a free online presentation, feel free to contact us.